How you doing, Mama? Where you been? I gotta have some shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I know. But you've been running behind. I told you I'd work it out. I work it out with all three of you. You do your work in the street. All I want is the money. Come on, Mama. Get it out. almost bring you up to date. What you gonna do about today? Please, man, I gotta have some shit. Mama, go back in your box. Why don't you get a purse like everybody else? Guard Jones. Nice to see you again, you man. You son of a bitch, man. I've been waiting here for three hours. If I miss that match flight back to now, my ass is mud. <laughs> I thought you might be running out of time. You got my package. You got my bread. This ain't even a tenth of the price you owe me. I know. But you understand. Cost me a lot to operate. I got a big payroll. You. What's wrong with you, Jump? Are you crazy? You should have taken the money, Bo. You really should have. Okay, okay. So I got a little pissed. You give me the bread and then I'll take off. But the next time you want something, man, it's got to be cash up front. Another dead nigga shot resisting arrest. Gotta pay for fucking over people. 
I almost bought it that time. It's getting to be worse than, than selling dope. I'm just gonna have to find me a quiet place. Well, Sergeant. 
Why return rather than go on? Haven't you heard? There are bad guys out there shooting at us good guys. That's what bugs me. As long as you know they're out there. Why did you quit? Now, just a minute, Lieutenant. It's more than trying to win real estate. We gotta win the people over to our side be before we can win any war. But they don't want us here. Sergeant Scott under arrest. Hold him for field court marshal. All you have to do is behave, and you'll get out in five years. Rid him for me, ain't it? Oh. Lay it on me so, brother. You bailed me out again. Don't sweat it, man. Give me a smoke. Hey, so, what's Charlie Company doing way back here? Well, they ain't chumps. And knock off that soul, brother crap, man. You ain't got no cool. And you couldn't get sold if a pigeon flew over your head and dropped it all over you. Hey, Bo, you and me, we're in the same boat. No way, man. I followed your uncool crap from the time that shave tail jacked you up all the way through that trial. You smell like you've been running, too. <laughs> right, man, right. But it's like the patrols told me. The man's got your name, rank, and serial number. Patrols? Nah, not around here. I've been making it for about a month, scamming patrols, and I'm a scout. They lay a little food on me and an ammunition weapon. I'm gone, man. I'm split. Man, that proves my point. We ought to team up. No way, baby. My mama didn't raise no fools. What's more, I'm legally dead. I put my tags on a dead blood, and I took his. And since we all look alike, I'm grooving, man. I'm going to Spain, and I don't need no jinxy sucker like you on my tail. But the two of us together could not live as cheaply as one. You just remember who saved your sorry tale. Go to Rome. Spain ain't big enough for both of us. Hey, Bo. See you. Not till you change your luck and get some soul. Dig it, baby. Sorry, I can't help you. But you must have a cargo plane that's going that way. That is true, Mr. Uh, I didn't get you a name. Smith, Joe Smith. As I was saying, Mr. Uh, Smith, 
Yes, there is a cargo plane. One leaves Karachi every day. Great. I'll help uh, load up here and unload at Rome. Mr. Smith, we don't carry laborers on board. Ground crews attend the loading and unloading. Mr. Cummings, please help me. I've got to be there as quickly as possible. I'm afraid the only way for you to get there, Mr. Smith, is to purchase a ticket. I haven't any money. I lost it. Then ask your embassy for help. I'm afraid we can do nothing for you. Wait outside. My name is Seymour. Daniel Seymour. He lost my bag. Follow me to my hotel, room 217. Don't phone, don't ask questions now. I uh, heard you ask for a job at the ticket office. Where do you want to go? West. I can get you as far as Rome. Yeah? How? Carry something for me. What's your name? Joe Scott. Got a passport, Joe? No, I lost it. Just an ID card. How'd you get this far? Walking. What am I to carry? Drugs? Nope. No drugs. Your ID is no good. You'll have to have a passport. I'll get you one. Just like that? Okay, what am I supposed to carry? The best. A little heavy, but not conspicuous. Take off your jacket. When do we leave? This afternoon. Try that on for size. Damn, that's heavy. Well, feathers are heavy if you got enough of them. 200 rare coins in that thing. What makes you think you can trust me? I don't. I'll be on the same plane with you. But we don't know each other, remember that. How do you know I'll show up at the airport? And if I do, what's in it for me? It's a free ride, you show up. I give you the vest in the men's room at the airport, plus your ticket and passport.
Shall we talk about a job? Joe's looking for steady work. Can we use him? For the time being, there is nothing to do. Something's going over to Switzerland by car next week. He can start with that. We don't deal always in gold. Other things bring a nice profit. When I get the bankroll up to $5,000, I'm off to Canada. Yeah, I said the same thing a couple of years ago, but I'm still here. Joe, just so there's no misunderstanding, you're working as my assistant, eh? Everything goes through me. Anything you say. Where do I live? Any ideas? Yeah, I check into a hotel for a couple of days. We'll look for an apartment. And uh, since you're working, you can take me to dinner, okay? She might help you find an apartment. Come here. Hi, Dad. Teresa here? Yeah, she's inside. Be charming. Where have you been? Where have I been? I've been here every night. Good, then I'll buy you a drink. You know I'm not allowed to drink or sit with customers. This is a very serious place. I'd like you to meet my friend, Joe Pearson. Hello, Joe. Hi. Joe thinks you'll stick around for a while. Do you think you can help find an apartment? Well, there is one in my building if... Great. Listen, why don't we lunch tomorrow and then I can see the apartment? I get your papers and your accent pretty soon. The police here are gonna throw you in a Bastille. And then, baby, forget it. No one will ever find you. Yeah, but that steamship captain that I sail out of Saigon with told me that for the hash I laid on him, he could get me to Spain. He also said that his contact here, you, Ernesto Guadalupe Cortez, could turn me into some action where I pick up a little bread. He lied. I'm not in that business anymore. I have no more contacts. I've turned you on to a few things. Yeah, a few dime bags and shit and stuff like that. And a few odd jobs with a, uh, an American tourist from Iowa. Man, I'll be here for the next hundred years. Look, it, I got a natural sense of rhythm, man. That's just going to the dogs. You know, I gotta go to Canada or maybe, uh, Southern Sweden, where well, I'm appreciated, you know? Yemeni, the natives are coming, and they are waiting for daddy to come and change their luck. Can I be your assistant to you? Cerveza. Thanks. You know 
always drink by yourself? For company? Senor, please, just leave me alone. I can't afford to help myself right now. Please, th there's no telling what they'll do. Take this. Hide it. Please, keep it. At least they won't get it. It'll solve all your problems. Okay, really? What's that thing? Let's get her. Now, look, I know you're running a game with all these, these tears and stuff, you know? You better go now. She's right. Want you to Let's go now while you can. Dig where the man's coming from? He means split. No. So split, black boy. Yes, the master. I ain't done nothing to nobody. Where I ain't ever bothered where nobody in my life. I just a poor man. <laughs> better, doesn't it? Oh, the only thing that feels better is being out of this place. Oh, I can't afford to get in more trouble. Who else dies anyway, man? They were placed for keeps. They were after, after this package. Well, who were they? Oh, they, uh, they work for the, the syndicate. money for a long time. And, uh, they've got each other. It's not so bad, is it?
Hey, baby, I'm ready. Here I am, darling. Come on. Roll up. You gotta be kidding. Don't do it, and you find out how serious I am. Oh. I'm the guy who helped you, remember me? Get over it. I'll never forget you, darling. But I don't like the idea of sharing my money with anyone. Adios, senor. Why me, man? Why me? Joe? I thought I told you to stay in bed. I've been thinking. You know Marie, one of the girls that works at the club. She's getting married. Oh? Joe, why don't we get married? We've had all this out before, Therese. You don't really love me, do you? Otherwise, we would. It's not a matter of loving. Now, be sensible. You can't marry a man who's a fugitive, a, a man who has no identity. Can't you ever get that through your head? Why don't you give yourself up? It's your only chance for ever being happy again. Even if I can't share it with you. What's that supposed to mean? It's something I felt for a long time. Tell me, Joe, if you would ever go back to America, with or without giving yourself up, you wouldn't take me, would you? That's a lot of nonsense. I'm sorry, I keep on nagging you. It's only because I love you so much. Joy? Hey, Bo, what are you doing here in Rome? Hi, Joy. Uh, well, things got a bit hot for me in Spain. So I thought I'd better split. Yeah, I'm glad to see you. Hey, I missed you. I missed you too. But I'm in a lot of trouble right now. I need you to help me find some guy. His name is Joe Scott. And I know everything I know about him is right here. Well, I'll check it out for you. Well, meet me at the Naples apartments. Get on it right away. I got a path there, okay?
y avanti. Ah, signorina Joy, I'm so glad you've come to my house. Oh, you're a clown, but I dig you. And I don't want to lose you. You've made me feel like a woman again. All right, so what's coming down? That fraud who set you up. Set you up good. I mean, she split the country. She's, she used you as her fall guy. And she's got the word out that you stole those $20 plates. And you're going to push them. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Joy hears all and sees all and tells little. Last night I had a client. One of the syndicate's top dudes. Yeah? I overheard a conversation. And you're it. I found your friend Joe. Got his number? Oh, great. in our language. Come on, you'll make it easier on yourself. It. You don't speak to me. Come on, son, you're going to blow up your boss. The plates. Where are the plates? I don't know nothing about no plates. You better find them. Because the next time I see you, if you don't have them, you're dead. Joe. Yeah, Joe, this is Bo. Right, Beauregard Jones. Right. Yeah, I'm in Rome now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Sounds good to me. Okay, man, see you then. Ciao. Baby, baby, I'm going to meet Joe tomorrow. He's been hired to help this uh, ballet dancer get away from the commies. Uh, her name is uh, Nadia Krasinska. And he's getting five grand for the job. With that kind of money, we can all get to Canada. He's on his way right now to pick up the first 2,500. Yes, sir? Oh, uh, cognac. Thank you. Pearson? Mr. Pearson? Yes. I understand you speak English. 
Yes. How do you know? I represent an American newspaper, Miss Krasinska. I enjoyed your dancing. Thank you. You like Rome? I don't know. We have so little time to ourselves. Your glass is empty. <clears throat> Let me get you a little more champagne. This is a fine theater, isn't it? I'm the one who's going to help you escape. Be careful, we may be observed. We'll separate now. Move around, but keep to the edge of the crowd. I'll join you again. Thank you, Ms. Koshenka. Remember, whatever happens, follow me. Sono felice di darvi il benvenuto nel mio paese. Le guerre per disgrazia lontane. Don't turn around. In a moment, the place will be in darkness. By the switchboard, you'll see a light. Make for it at once. Leave the rest to me. to make. The government, the syndicate, everybody's on my tail. And I gotta meet Joe. Maybe he can help me get out of the country. Stay with me a while. Look, they're gonna be after you now. You crossed them when you helped me. I'll meet you later, okay? I don't care. I could dig in some soul in my corner. Body next to me. Like I said before, who the hell's Joe?
got to get out of Rome. If you're caught, the Italians would have to hand you over. Last night, I thought I did a good job. But now, I know different. Someone used that blackout for murder. <laughs> Krakow must be quite a popular guy. I told you, he once was head of the secret police. The old routine, huh? But his interest in you, that's what beats me. Something ring a bell? When we left, each woman in the company was given some jewelry to wear at last night's reception. Ordered to, in fact. Who by? An official from the Ministry of Propaganda. I was given this ring. Could there be any connection? With Krakow? Maybe. He could have been making plans not to go back. Let's have a look. No, the idea is good, but the ring isn't. No, it couldn't be this. Your escape was worth $5,000 to him. But why? That's the only thing I was certain to wear last night. I have an idea. Stay here, don't go out. Don't answer the door. Take a look at this. It's gold. Mid-European, I'd say. And the stone. <sighs> a stone. Makes an impressive looking ring. You want to sell it? I'll give you a little bit more than I give anyone else. That'd be a change. How much? A couple of hundred. No. Take the stone out for me, will you? What did you hope to find? Valuable stamp, maybe. Something I might have sold. Do you want me to put it back? Yeah, put it back. What did he want? Who? Don't give me that who business. You know who, Joe. You've been following him. Well, I brought him here, so I look after him. Then you arrive at the right moment. Unfortunately, I need some help. Come on. He has something worth a lot of money, and he doesn't know it. What? An emerald cut diamond worth $50,000. But it looks worthless. Covered up with a thin coat of paste. <laughs> Very cleverly done.
Hello, darling. How long have you been here? I thought you were with Maria. I came home about an hour ago. Did a man call or come to the apartment? No. Is everything all right, Joe? How did your business meeting go last night? Fine, fine. What's wrong, then? You look so worried. Do I? Joe, something went wrong last night, didn't it? Oh, I knew it would. I felt it. God damn it, would you shut up? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But I've got a lot on my mind. A lot. I've got to go out again. Shirley, and my car just quit on me. Would you mind? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, well, everything seems to be all right under here. Why don't you get in and try to start it? Why don't you check the distributor? We're going to take a little ride to see a man about some place. My car yours. <laughs> it's a man's world. Ladies first. Oh, no, you don't. Really? Pressing appointment, baby. No pun intended. Come on. Give me your shoes and things. Come on, come on. Good. Got it. Now you just wait right there. the distributor. Okay. Come on, turn around. Come on. Come on. Turn around. That's it. That's it. Have a nice day at the beach, baby. You look like you're really on top of it. Well, ma'am, 
Looks uh, don't always tell the truth. I am in a lot of trouble. I gotta get out of this place. It seems really bad. Yeah, I heard about your jam. Listen, I've got something really good I think will take us out of this dump and put us on easy streets. Oh, yeah. I've been into some heavy action. And... Well, it's a good thing you called and you did. I'm about ready to move out. Well, you know me, like I always said, two can live as cheap as one. I know a guy that can get us out of here if you got the bread. Canadian sea captain? Well, today he's a man. Okay, here's the pitch. Now, tomorrow morning, I'll take care of it, and I'll meet you here. Then we'll leave the country together. I'm in some trouble, and I might need your help. <laughs> we'll join the club. You know I'm not traveling light these days. I got abroad. Me too. Okay, tomorrow, same time, then Canada. Righteous, man. But let's clear the air. This is a syndicate that's out. Man, if we can handle the calm, we can handle the syndicate. Hello, Joe. My. You're all dressed up. You bought it for me. That's right, I did. Where are you going? To a wedding. In the afternoon? Most weddings are in the afternoon nowadays. But of course you wouldn't know anything about this subject. Whose wedding is it? Marie's. I told you the day we bought this. I'm going to the reception afterwards. Do you want to come? Aren't you going to work? It's my night off. Somebody's taking my place. Therese, you look great. And somebody's taking my place here, aren't they? Therese, if you're trying to pick a fight with me, don't. I'm not quite up to it. Can we talk, now that you're here? We are talking. Why not tell me who she is? We can't go on like this, Joe. I remember when you were in love with me. If you didn't have this shadow hanging over you, we might have done something about it. If you would have given yourself up, I would have waited. Not that again, please. Yes, that again. We could have made things so different, got something out of life. There can't ever be anybody else for me, Joe. Without you, I, I would be completely lost, alone. I know it sounds corny, but I know myself. And you're in some sort of troubles and not sharing it with me, and, and that hurts too. It is. I've come to wait for a telephone call. If it turns out as I hope, all the trouble I'm in will be gone for good. Can't we leave it at that? Who are you expecting to call? Or don't you want me to know? Dan Seymour. I saw you got his note. Yeah, this morning. Uh, you were asleep. Did you meet him? Yeah, he paid me back some money he owed me. Is that what he wanted to see you for? Yes. Why didn't he leave it here? Didn't he think I'd give it to you? I asked him some questions yesterday about you. I know I shouldn't have, but I did. He mentioned you'd had a talk. He found out beforehand from the concierge downstairs. She told me this afternoon. What would he want to do that for? I don't know. But I wouldn't trust him too far if I were you. Bye, darling. Joe. 
I uh, hope you don't know how to use that thing, Miss Krushinska. I told you I was sent by Joe to give you some instructions. I don't understand. You're on your way to England. Boat leaves early tomorrow morning. But where's Joe? He's with the captain of the ship. Here to give me a ring with a green stone. That one, I guess. What for? You'll see a man wearing it at the boat. He'll get you on board. A woman's ring? Don't waste time, Miss Krushinska. What do I do now? Wait for Joe. She won't have long to wait, will she? I heard most of that dialogue. I think we better have a little talk, Dan. Now do some explaining, Dan. You've been following me around, haven't you? You overacted, Dan, trying to convince Therese you didn't know whether I was in or not. Never question anyone like you did the concierge. They talk. How long have you been following me around? How long? I know a lot, Joe. More than you do, in fact. Give me the ring. And start talking. Okay. After you agree to cut me in. Why? It's only fair. I can be a big help to you. Like that phony ship captain of yours? <clears throat> He's no phony. He's very real. Only we weren't going to be on the ship. Come on, Dan, what's it all about? What part does this play? A big one. That's worth $50,000 to Vittorio. We're going to see a jeweler. Yeah, but your boyfriend does. If he wants to see you alive again, he'll give them to us. Keep the bitch here. We'll go make a deal with her nigger boyfriend. We'll get the place. She's going nowhere. Come on over here, huh? You must be out of your skull. That bitch tricked him and skipped town. Just sit down here, huh? You might as well relax and enjoy our little wait. Huh? There, that ought to hold you. Could you do one more thing for me? What's that? I have an itch. Where? Right here. Here? To the left. That'll be fine. Thank you. 
You know, I've been thinking, a smart and friendly girl like you ought to be more comfortable, huh? I can be a lot more friendly if you let me go. Thank you. 
cutting you bastards in because I need ready cash, and I know you've got it. You can have this ring for $40,000. That leaves you an easy ten grand to carve up between. You're asking too much, Joe. Then I'll go elsewhere. Can you? With what we know? Take what I choose to give you. What else can you do? Fill you full of lead. You look scared. You're up against violence, something you've always managed to avoid. For years you've been living off guys like me, taking in all we smuggled and, and giving peanuts in return. This is one time it isn't going to work. Now you've got every kind of currency in there, I know it. Do you want me to take the keys off a dead man and help myself? Uh, uh, I'll give you 30,000. Cash, now! He's got the gun. I'll have my cut now. Ciao. Back to the chair. But you promised. <laughs> I lie a lot. <laughs> you fucking bastard! You bitch! Come on, baby. We gotta meet Joe. I got 30,000 off of him. That ring was given you, Nadia. So this money is legally yours. I'm keeping five. Is that all right with you? Of course. I'm very grateful. The ship sails at dawn. Give the captain 150. Once in England, you're safe. Make straight for the foreign office. What do I tell them? Everything. They know what's been happening. Leave my identity out of it, that's all. you were someone else. Lie still. I'll get a doctor. No. Please don't leave me. I, I'm afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of now. I, I always keep talking about giving yourself up because I always wanted to marry you. And because I know it's the right thing to do.
You are a little early if you're going to the embassy. On the contrary. I'm a little late. Are you Beauregard Jones? Yeah. What's that, a note? Gave himself up. No soul sucker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your friend. Yeah. Son of a gun. Well, this time he bailed me out. Well. Quick, hurry up.
Come on, you. Against the car. The plates. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, where are they? 5,000 lousy dollars. Show Mr. Jones we mean business. Hold it. I'll blow your balls off. Get back. Get over there. Just don't anybody move. Come on, hand it over. The five G's. Get over there. If anybody moves, shoot him. Watch him. Come on, baby. Come on, get in. So long, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>